page 43 on the upper right hand side. And you shouldn't even have to look at that in a sense because you know we've talked about post impressionism color for emotion. Pick any three that you want there. You know, it's used to describe, it's used to give you an emotional reaction, it's used to give a sense of space, uh, it organizes the composition. So the answer is right there. Um, what is the difference? I think I asked you this earlier, but what it, we've talked about linear and aerial perspective. Um, what have we not covered? Oh, Daguerre. Hold on. I'll go back to the picture with Monet. Um, this is Daguerre's photograph, and Daguerre is in your textbook. The um, camera was developed. It took 12 to 15 minutes to process through the shutter. That's why those early images look so stiff. Um, this street was filled with carriages and horses, but they were moving. Okay. But this man is on a street corner bending over. That is absolutely the first depiction of a human being with a camera. Uh, somebody in the 9 o'clock class, it's great, they were very inquisitive, and he wanted to know, well, what, what's the big deal about this? Um, I said, well, think about all the new, what's, what's coming out soon, the I, I, what is it? The, whatever that thing is. Um, you know, it's coming out, it's like you can't keep up fast enough, and things get cheaper as they go along. But think about when things first came out. The uh, plasma TV, I had a friend that paid like $4,000 for this. Now they're, what, $4.95 or whatever? So my point being is that not everybody could rush to have their picture taken with a camera. It was revolutionary. Only the rich could really afford it. And so the early works were still live table settings. But this one, the first depiction of human being. That's all you have to say. Now, is there anything I didn't cover? Go, go through the list, because as I said, I don't have it in front of me. Whoops. So make sure we didn't miss anything. Yes. What is the main difference between the and the Okay, thank you. What is the main difference? The main difference between an impressionist painter and a post-impressionist. See, this is what I mean by not making connections together. What do you know about post-impressionists? What's their main idea? Color for emotion. Are the impressionists using color for emotion? No, and it's right on the page on color. They don't use emotion. We can react to it, but that's not their intent. That's all you have to know. I wouldn't expect you to really go into any kind of depth with that. So, does that cover everything? Some of you are so incredibly prepared, but I already know the person that's most prepared got the highest score in the class. So, um, let me know if there's any questions. Okay? And you're really good about coming in on time, so, yes. What are you doing way back there today? Okay, what? Shout it out. They go together. Daguerre is a photographer, and his photograph is uh, shows the first human. They're not separate questions, okay? All right, we didn't discuss Keith Haring, and he's the first question on your test, so you have to know his name and the five influences, which everybody basically should have in their packet, plus I showed a video on Keith Haring. So his influences are Andy Warhol, his father, Walt Disney, African art, Aborigine art, Christo, and the 60s. So make sure you get that, because that's the first question.